Hey guys, I'm back. I'm here with my old Raider pistol. Now, you guys all remember this mod. If you don't, you can just click on the gun right now. Well, anyway, the guy who bought it off me actually wants me to incorporate a light into the gun now. I'm going to do that. I'm going to install it right here. And we're going to do that using the same pieces as last time. Uh, we're going to be using the pieces from the old, uh, I guess you can call it knife finder that I tore apart and put inside my Maverick. So we're going to be using the front crystal out of this. And now we're going to go back down to the workbench and we're going to see how exactly I'm going to do this. Alright guys, I've got this trimmed off. Now I'm just going to trim it so it fits the front of the blaster now. Right here, over top. Then I'm going to then drill out the hole in here and countersink it in so it fits in nicely. So I can have room for the LED. Alright guys, as you can see, I've already dremeled out the hole here for the new flashlight. Now, this will be the LED I'm putting in. It's a jumbo 10mm blue LED. It's going to be sitting in right here, hopefully as flat as I possibly can. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to get back to work. Alright guys, I thought I'd show you some of the work I've done. I've got a LED up here. It does work, as you can see. This is the front light from the Night Finder. I've run the wires through the inside behind the bolt, which helps keep the dart inside when you're pushing it forward. Here, I've got a switch which is on the, which can be activated with your thumb, right here next to the trigger. And uh, the battery housing right here, which slides nice and neatly into here. All the wires tuck up into here when it's all in there, so. Overall, the whole gun is completely contained, and uh, now I'm just going to get back to uh, assembling it, so, well, let's see how it turns out. Alright guys, I'm back. This is the Raider handgun revisited, now with a integrated flashlight up front, easy to flip, just flip forward with your thumb, flip back with your thumb, the on-off switch is right here, the only difference in this is that I did not use the 10 millimeter blue LED that I said I actually used a 5 millimeter white LED. Now the difference is that, well, of course, the LED is not sticking out the front. I went with that because I, the blue LED actually stuck out the front and I wouldn't have been able to put in this nice little flashlight ring. The gun still complete, comes completely apart, which is great. Now it still has rapid fire built in. Hang on, double feed. Anyway, the only difference now is that uh, instead of the standard extra bullet right there, you've got a battery pack, which holds two AAA batteries inside, and it fits in there nice, snugly, and tight. Now, the photos at the end of this video will show you uh, all the details of the gun and its workings. Now, how about I show you uh, a little bit of night action? Alright guys, I've, uh, as you see, the attack light is still. Now next time what's going to be coming up is uh, he's requested me to put a hidden gun inside the stock, which is why I'll be using this reflex. The stock will not be collapsible, but it will have an extra gun built into it so you can just pop it off and use it like a normal gun. And therefore, instant hidden pistol.